okay good morning to all i discuss about the two dimensional array in c the two dimensional array can be defined as an array of arrays and the two dimensional arrays is organized as matrices which can be represented as the collection rows and columns like matrix so declaration of the two dimensional array in c there is a syntax data type array name rows and columns here the two dimensional array int is a data type to diamond is the known as the name of the array four is the number of the rows column is number three is the number of columns so here four is the number of rows and three is number of columns initialization to the array in c int array four and three equal to one two three two three four three four five four five six right here to 12 values are there because four is the row three is the column four into three is that 12 so this is the 12 values is there that right? you can store like the matrix form and this is the example how to to you know, write the two dimensional array has in yesterday dot a int main in display two at three display is the name of the array two and three the dimensions two row three columns int i is a i equal to zero i less than t i i two i plus plus similarly j equal to zero j less than three j plus plus Next is your scanf. These are the that means through which you can enter the value to the array. And uh, what are the two dimensional array elements for i equal to zero, i less than this is the for the display. That means what are the result of this value? Uh, printf this one, this one, and j equal to two. Uh, this one printf written zero. Okay. So these are the two dimensional array and uh, written zero okay so this is the program for the two dimensional array next come to the what are the strings used in c the string can be defined as the one dimensional array of characters terminated by null values and the character array or the string is used to manipulate text such as word or sentences each character in the array occupies one byte of memory and the last character must allow p0 the termination character null is important in the string since it is only way to identify where the string ends so there are two ways to declaring string one is your character array and another is your string literal let's the example for the character case Suppose you are write Java points. So in CS10 Java point, this is the character base, right? You have to forcefully show this null character, which indicates that is the end of the string. Similarly, but in case of the literal Java point, your null will be appended at the end of the string by the compiler, but here by the program, right? Now. But here automatically that will be added by the compiler. These are the string examples in C as in st dot a string is this is a string example. And uh, these are the two main popular functions, gets and puts function used in the C string. In the gets function enables the user to enter some characters followed by the enter key. All the characters entered by the user get stored in a character array. The null character is added to the array to make it a string. The gets allow the user to enter the space separated string. So declaration characters gets character reading the string using gets function. Void main character is thirty. Printf enter the string gets print enter you enter the string. Similarly, post function is very much similar to printf function. The post function is used to print the string on the console, which is previously read by using gets or scanner functions. The post function returns an integer value representing the number of characters being printed on the console. So that is known as the post function. So very similar to printf function, the post function declaration in post character. Example to read a string using gets and print it on the console using puts. This is the example of the puts function. Here through the gets function, you are enter the string and puts it will display the string. 
come to the pointer what is the what are the pointers used in the c pointer is a variable first thing which store the address of another variable right here int n equal to 10 in star p and n variable p of type pointer is pointing to the address of the variable n of type integer the in star p in uh, equal to and n that means n equal to 10 which is stored in a memory area suppose you want to retrieve the address where the value of 10 is stored then you write the int star of p equal to and n star p means it is a pointer type of variable in n n is a normal type of variable it's a pointer type of variable pointer type of variable is eligible to store the address of another variable and is the address operator that's right so declaring a pointer in star a character star c this is a pointer type of variable here the example int main in number equal to 50 in star p p equal to and number printf address of p variable and print a value of p variable and return 0 so it is known as the pointer so output address and number variable that is the pointer example and these are the outputs next is your structure that is the structure of the program structure and union the two different thing you use uh, yes Yes, this is structure. Structure in C is user defined data type that enables use to store the collection of different data types. Each element of a structure is called a member, and the structure keyword is used to define the structure. So, generally, what is the difference between array, or you can say why you are using the structure? Because array is uh, there is a limitation is that array is a homogeneous data types that means it contains only the similar type of data type. Suppose you are declared the array is integer type that means you are not allowed to store any other values rather than integer that means you are not allowed to store the float type of values character type values in the array right now. So that problems overcome within the structure right. Because structure is a known contain the non homogeneous data type, that means it can contain int, it contains character, it contains float. Right? This is the syntax. How to write the structure? Struct structure name, data type member one, data type member two, data type member n, struct employee, int id, character name twenty four, salary. This is the non homogeneous data type. Right? It contains integer, it can, it can character for through different type of Next is your example of structure. Yeah, str dot s string dot s struct employee in id character name fifty one. You are the variable structure variable through which you can access the data members of the structure. You one dot id equal to one zero one. String copy to one dot name. So no jaiswal and the printf return zero. That's a structure example. These are the outputs. Right. I come to the union what is the union this is a similar type of structure but there is some difference compared to structure union in the memorical bus suppose declaration same except the keyword here the struct keyword is used here union keyword is used but here problem here the that in structure what are the memory size of this structure for the suppose you are declined three different type of data types within the structure for the character is one byte for integer it is two byte for float is the four byte so total is your seven byte right for union it is the four byte that means the whatever the maximum size of the data type here character is one byte integer two byte float is four byte that means within that it will be completed this union program right so uh, these are the completion of the chapter number seven so thank you to all for the cooperation and uh, this is the end of the chapter number seven thank you to all